the Uni Pro portable wood fired pizza oven. It is a very impressive unit. I've owned it for about a year and a half and it does some excellent pizza. And I'm kind of showing it for my subscribers uh, because normally I'm doing Instant Pot or, or Ninja Foodie videos. But this is something I think a lot of people that subscribe to my channel will like. And I'm gonna show you how, how exactly what I do with charcoal and wood and get a thousand degrees if you want it really quick and then turn out some of the best pizzas you'll ever eat. I'm John Sanders. Let's make some pizza. All right, one of the neatest features of this device, and, and I think once you see the temperatures it will develop and the pizza it will cook, it'll impress you too. And that is the fact that it's completely portable. I mean, if you wanted to, me and my son carry it back and forth from each other's house all the time. And uh, we don't do anything but this and sit it in the back of a truck. I mean, it weighs like 50 pounds. So you can sit in the back of a truck and go with it just like it is. But if you really want to, say, put it in the trunk, or say the trunk of a car, you take this off. Whoops, I dropped the little lid there. But you take that off, you fold these legs under, and uh, you can put it in the back seat of a car for all that goes if you're not worried about your back seat. And uh, you can even remove these four plates in there and make it even lighter. So, I mean, it's a, when you, like I said, when you see what it does, I think it'll be impressive to you too. So I'm gonna get that part started and I'll be back. All right, I'm gonna show you all of my best shortcuts and that's for making a quick and easy, excellent uh, pizza, homemade that tastes like you did it all at your house. I got this at Publix and it is uh, Italian pizza dough pre-roll. Now I don't know if all stores sh uh, sell them, but they sell it in a ball you can buy it in a dough ball or this right here. And I actually have a video I'm going to drop in, but you can see this is the one I usually go with. And uh, you, you do whatever you want to with it. You can roll it out thinner and all the stuff, or, but I'm gonna make it fit that peel. And then I'm gonna put some of this right here, which is, uh, you'll really have trouble beating that. But uh, that's a really good uh, pizza sauce, Rayo's. And uh, in fact, if you want to make your own here, Uni has on their webpage, you just go to their webpage. In fact, you would click that right there and then you click recipes and then it'll bring them all up right here. And everything you need to know for pizza dough, uh, quick pizza dough, sourdough pizza dough, uh, classic pizza sauce, I don't have to tell you, a bunch of different things. <laughs> and then right here's like a, a zero, zero. That's what they mean by that. And this is one I've used before and it works well, but there's many on the market. Uh, let's see, anything else I'm gonna say? And one is, uh, you don't wanna overload with, with uh, you know, if you buy mozzarella like this, don't cut it real thick and put big chunks on there because it uh, overloads a little bit. I like these pearls and even sometimes I break the pearls in half and uh, it just kind of works well. And then I grate a little Parmesan and then of course some basil. So, but like I said, this is mainly about, it's kind of like an unboxing video on that uh, pizza oven a year and a half late. So I'm gonna show you how well it comes up to heat, how I heat it and how I get it hot and uh, how well it does. And then if all goes well, we're gonna put this on and uh, hopefully make a, now I'm not the best in the world at that, I'm not gonna lie, my son, he's way better at it than I, him and his friends do this all the time. And they'll put, uh, they'll do pizzas where they set it up and everybody puts what they want on their pizza. I mean, it takes like two minutes to cook a pizza. It, uh, it's an excellent, excellent device to have. But anyhow, I'm gonna hush, I'm gonna take us outside and we're going to uh, uh, get this thing lit up and do a pizza, I'll be back. Okay, here is how it comes at my local Publix. It comes, it's in the refrigerated by itself, and you can get it in the dough ball, or you can make, get it already made out into the sheets, which is what I normally do. So I'm gonna get a couple of these, and then we'll go on to the other stuff we're gonna need, which I'm gonna, we're not using any of that. I'm just gonna go get uh, fresh mozzarella. Man, hang on. All right, you are looking at what I call the business end of an Uni Pro. And here's how it works. There is where the fuel goes or the charcoal. I, again, I don't use gas. I don't use pellets. All I use is Fogo charcoal that I light like this right here. I'll light the bottom of this with a torch and get it going. And then I'll put uh, some of that... Uh, 
in here and let that get to going real well. And then when I want to crank that temp, I start dropping, dropping these uh, hickory chunks in. And uh, you'll see what I mean in just a minute. Now there's a lot of ways to control the heat. And I'm making sure you can see what I want. So I'm gonna move this camera just a touch. It has a damper here. Now I, I said there's a lot of ways. And mainly it's right here. You control that damper. But there's one other thing I wanna show you under here. And it's really not for pizzas, but there's plenty of ways and reasons to use it. So what I'm getting at is, in a minute, I'm going to light this charcoal, dump it in there, let this thing heat up a little bit, get going, and then we're going to start dumping chunks. But before it gets hot, I want to show you that other thing that I think you'll need to know. I'll be back. Okay, so what I'm about to say just might be the most important feature I mention all night. And it has to do with, say, smoking uh, ribs or, you know, something I honestly have not tried. But depending on the response of this video, I might. And it is an ab the ability to control the smoke in your Uni Pro. And once you remove the chimney, and you can see right here, there's a damper. Now, normally it would be wide open like this for pizza. You would obviously want it wide open, just like that. Well, I'm going to set this down. Hold on just a second. Well, if you were doing, say, ribs or anything you want a little smoke flavor on, you would just close this, dampen it, or close it all the way off if you wanted to. And then, if, say it were closed, it forces the smoke and the heat, actually. It can't come right here and go straight up this chimney. Now it has to. It doesn't have any choice. I've looked at it and... I think I read about it too, but I've looked at it. It can't go anywhere. I'm going to see if you can see what I'm shining. Right here, there is openings right here. And that is the only place the smoke and heat has to go now. It can't come here. It has to come all the way to the front of the unit and then up through these sides and then through the chimney. That is a... A, a feature I'm dying to try. I'm not going to lie. And that, uh, it looks like something I will be trying, although I haven't. So anyhow, I wanted to show that and I'm anxious. And again, maybe people have videos up that I just couldn't find, but now you know, and uh, hopefully I'll have a video on it for long, but we'll get back to this pizza now. Be back. Okay. So we're at the point where I'm going to light my charcoal, which all I'm going to do is Take this torch and light the bottom of my chimney. It'll be noisy when I do that, so I'm not going to do it at this point. And then I'll leave it sitting here till I get a little bit of cherry red in there going on. And then I'm going to dump that in there and give it a minute to kind of get going. And that's when we'll start throwing the uh, hickory pieces in and get that heat to come up. But just so you know, here's how it'll be. That's how I do it, right there. Like I said, it's noisy, but uh, in fact, I'm gonna turn the camera off, but that's, I'm gonna get that going a little better than that and dump it in there, I'll be back. All right, just for the record, we're probably about five minutes in to heating that right there. So maybe that's a time I don't usually consider, but here you go. I'm fixing to show you how long it takes the uni to come from that right there. And, and what I normally do, I'm going to go ahead and put it all in. I let that sit, and that, that's a little more than normal. In fact, i got to find something to kind of push that around and flatten it out. But when I want it to get hot, it'll be, in fact, let me back my camera up so you can see it. It'll be those pieces of hickory that make it go hot. Now, again, I'm not always in a hurry for it to get hot. You know, I'm trying to work on my pieces and stuff like that. It's just that it'll do it. That's my point. But uh, it's not always about trying to get it up in a hurry, just trying to get the, uh, you know, everything done. So I'm going to find something to scatter that around just a little bit and put that lid on. And then I'm going to get that pizza ready. And once I get the pizza ready is when we're going to drop that. So I'll be back then. Okay, I, I keep forgetting to tell this and I want to say it right quick. But what I do to clean that glass, and you can see how well I can see in there, is I take a razor blade and I just scrape it off. But I don't want heat, any more heat out of there than I have to have. But a razor blade works really well. Now you know. All right, right there is what it looks like. Right out. Of, now I put, I, you know, just dusted the top with this zero zero flour. 
and you can see I can spin it. Now, I'm hoping it stays that way. <laughs> Sometimes my luck is not that good with that. And I'm not gonna roll that out much thinner. All right, just for the record, it is 146. I've got it about half, maybe three quarter dampened down. And with just the Fogo charcoal uh, throttled back, it's 250 degrees Celsius, 492 uh, Fahrenheit. So. What I'm going to do is let that sit right there. Just kind of, I may throttle it back even more because that's about as hot as I want it at this moment. And then I'm going to go get my pizza completely ready. And when I bring it out here, we'll start dropping that hickory on. I know I keep promising it, but uh, that's really what I'm going to do. <laughs> and then we'll open this up. And I may put this on. I may put the uh, the one where you leave it open. But we're not pulling. We're not doing but one pizza right now, so there's really no need in having that. But I'll say this: it's neat. If you're cooking more than one pizza, all you do is slide them in and out. So we'll, we'll, see, we'll see how we'll handle it when I get the pizza out here. Be back. All right, I got it mid. Right there it is. It looks good, but like I said, my son and him are better than this, than me. And I'm not sure that's not going to stick to my peel. <clears throat> but <clears throat> what we gotta do is get that temperature up. That's what we're about to do, and you'll watch, and you'll see what I mean. In fact, I probably don't need as much as I've already put in there, and I kind of just, just kind of watch it, and it is a little warm, but nothing horrible. So what we're going to do is watch that temp. I'll probably leave it, on, leave the camera running, just so you can see what it does, and we're at, 250 degrees Celsius. So that is somewhere around 492 or something uh, Fahrenheit. But take my word, you're fixing to see it rise. It takes it a minute for that uh, for that to catch on. And I got to get something to break this loose on this peel. As a matter of fact, I can be working on that a little bit. I just don't want to turn the camera off. I'm going to let it go for just a minute. But all right, I may turn the camera off for just a second. I don't really know. No, no, it's going up. We're going to leave. We're going to leave it on. And I'm going to get this broke loose where it'll slide on this peel or slide off of this peel. And what I'm using, by the way, is I'm just taking this. Let's see if you can see it. And I'm taking another peel and I'm just kind of moving around and getting that flour on the bottom of it. But you see what that uh, temperature is doing. And I'm threatening to just let it go to show you how hot it'll get, but we're going to see together. And lay that right there. Everything, I think, is wide open. So we should be seeing a... Uh, right now we are... 500, almost 600 degrees Fahrenheit. You can see it climbing, I hope. As a matter of fact, let me make sure you can. Make sure the lights are good. Well, I may have made it worse. <laughs> I think I did. As a matter of fact, just so you'll know, so you can see how fast it's climbing. Let's see if I can do this. Mm, not as easy as it sounds, <laughs> but you can see it climbing. And uh, at some point, I will get you to where you can see that better because I got to slow it down I'm fixing to dampen it I'm fixing to hit the damper a little bit because right now we're coming up on that the end of the yellow is 400 degrees Celsius and it is really 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 hot and I don't want it much honestly if it wasn't for this uh, what we're doing I would probably be happy with that. In fact, I'm not going to let it go a lot further past that. You can see, though, I'm going to back it up and let you see the inside of it. I'm almost afraid to open it up. I'm going to turn this light off so you can see the uh, fire inside. It's definitely there. And I'm reluctantly going to open that. And uh, there you go. That is 
That is a pizza oven uh, at high heat. Let's see where we're at. Again, my pizza is sitting over here. <laughs> I'm gonna turn the light back on so we can see that needle. Well, I thought I was. I may have to change batteries. It looks like I'm going to have to. That is not good. We'll have to go to the flashlight. Oh, I brought another battery, so we're good. Hang on. Man, I am prepared, ain't I? Look at that. We're in the red, though. Whoops. We're in the red, so we are somewhere around... Coming up on 425 Celsius. I see, I think 450 is 842. And by the way, you may have uh, made note of what time I put the wood in. We're going to let it get hot. We're just going to. I'm going to let it go a long way. Then we'll put the pizza in. That is if I can get it off the pill. And this will be all real time. There's 450, pretty much 450 Celsius. And I'm not in a hurry. I don't know what it's going to do. I don't normally cook them at pegged out numbers, but I'm going to tonight. I'm going to take this off of here. So this is against my better judgment. I'm trying to figure out how to do it. The best way, in other words. Whoops. But I'm going to, just so you can see it. I want you to be able to see what it says. And then, we'll back, let me put the tripod back just a little bit, and we will look in there. And it is very, very, very hot. I can feel the heat, <laughs> obviously, right here. We're going to let that go up again and see where we're at and uh, cook a pizza <laughs> in about, I don't know how long it's going to take. I'm expecting less than a minute or maybe a minute. I got to make sure I'm not stuck to my peel again. Maybe I should put some, uh... in fact, I'm going to, y'all just keep watching that. <laughs> I'll be right back. I'm going to go put some uh, flour on this smaller peel. I'll be right back. Now, we are really about as hot as I... I want one. I'll have to do the math on it, but I do want to see where we're at. I got, I definitely got flour on this smaller peel. Not sure it's going to work, but y'all getting a real deal right here because uh, I think I'm going to try and sling it from, I'm going to try and toss it from the original one. And then blackened that window up, you can see. But for the record, and I'm afraid I don't like it going to much higher much more than that but we are at 450 degrees celsius so we're just a few well 50 degree 50 degrees celsius from what they claim and uh i have no complaints i'm not sure i'm not going to after i put my pizza in at that temp but i gotta see if i can do that too so i gotta see if i can move it a little bit yeah it's moving see that Look at there. I may be fixing the uh, copper. You need to move, buddy. Would you move? Hop up, buddy. I don't want to drop nothing hot on you. Hop up, buddy. Hop up. All right, we're fixing to uh, put a pizza in. And we got to get busy turning, I can tell you that. As a matter of fact, I'm going to hang that back on there and get something to do some spinning with. I feel positive 
we're going to need to do some pretty quick moving. I'm going to use this one too. Water hose tomorrow. I can't see. I can't see it that well. Oh, I do. It's bubbling up on the backside already. We're probably fixing to. Uh, Y'all have to take my word right now, but yeah, it looks good. I'm fixing to lift that. I'm fixing to take that lid off and see if I can spin it with this. Ooh, this hot all over. That kind of set the dough and all. If you look, wow, I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do that. We're gonna let that go because it would have been way too hot to catch <laughs> yeah it is uh it's blazing up in the back so we're gonna spin it around i hope you can see it that is that looks pretty that's working right there and that's a Publix dough. I mean, there is nothing wrong with what I'm seeing. I didn't check the deck. I kind of wished I had a for temp. I may have to let the air out of that bubble I got. I'm just going to keep it rotating for a minute. I don't see anything wrong with that. Slide it back just a little bit and over just a little bit. That does work. This thing works really well for that because you can turn it sideways in there. But I got, <laughs> you can see I got some bubbles going on on both sides. I hope you can see it. Yeah, you can. And I lost track on what time we are. I'm gonna leave the unbubbled side. <laughs> Right there, and we're fixing to put it on this pizza pan right here. Look at that. Man, that is awesome. That's what it always does, though. I mean, it's not like it's surprising. It does something. Now, I've never seen it do this kind of bubbling before. But we're about to call this one done. I mean, you see it. Let's, like, let's take a little better look at it. I don't see anything wrong with it other than these big old, which is great. That'll make uh, some really good dough on the inside. It just does. I might put it go just a little bit further on that back side and get a little browner like that. And I could push it closer, and I'm sure it would. You know what? I ain't even checked to make sure I got my camera on. I do. That's lucky. All right, we're about to pull this one out and cut it. I am a happy man. I mean, <laughs> go down to your Neapolitan and see what, I mean, I ain't going to say they, they're they not going to beat my pizza. But they ain't going to crush it, I'll tell you that. They might get it a little bit, but there's nothing wrong with that. All right, let me get a, this thing back on the front and dampen it down a little bit because I actually got... Another crust. I just gotta find some way to dampen that down a little bit right here. I'll put that there. Let's go inside and uh, we'll cut this one up. See y'all there. All right. I want to cut it while it's hot. So I'm going to. And you hear that crust. Uh, we're going to go through this big balloon. That is absolutely, well, uh, the kind of piece I like, even this burning. in We're going to cut it all the way up. Uh-oh, I just knocked my Parmesan off. Better get it up. 
Let's take a look at the bottom. And here it is. That is, uh, it's good. <laughs> That's unbeatable. <laughs> that is just like you would find at a really high-end uh, pizza restaurant. Mm. And it tastes absolutely perfect. Now you could put basil on it right now. A lot of people wait. And uh, we're going to add a couple for pictures. So, <laughs> hmm. Man, that, uh, that is real similar to the high end pizza shops you'll eat at anywhere you go, if you ask me. <laughs> and uh, I almost can't wait to eat that one. Uh, again, the bite I took is perfect. And the Rao's sauce, or Rao's, or I, I'm not really sure how you pronounce it. I think it's Rao's, and I'm pretty sure it is, but it's, it's excellent. So, hey, y'all come back to see Jelly. And uh, if you if you like to cook your own pizza, especially if you like to make your own dough, and even if you don't, you can do that. It's fun. It's a good way of doing things. It just is. It's, uh, it's interesting. And we've used it for a year and a half now, and my son takes it to his house and has gatherings with all his young buddies, and they they love it. You know, I mean, you you set up four or five pizzas, and it takes. I didn't time it. I probably should have. I'm gonna say uh, three minutes, four minutes a pizza, and uh, and that was a thick dough. You could do it all of it different, but y'all see what I'm trying to get out there. <laughs> but anyhow, uh, I think it's worth the. I think I paid five ninety nine. I think I actually got a discount in December of two thousand eighteen. I love y'all all, and if y'all saw something you like, and I know it's kind of out of my normal range, but I, I I swear I think there's a lot of people in my groups or my uh, subscribers that would uh that would love that item. It, it works real well. And anyhow, hey, I love y'all. Like I said, give me a thumbs up if you saw anything you like. And uh, y'all come back to see your jelly. Bye-bye.